Welcome to four examples of identifying which property of real numbers is shown. First we have 10 times the quantity 2 plus 7x equals 10 times 2 plus 10 times 7x. Notice from the left to the right, the 10 is multiplied by both terms inside the parentheses. Again, we have 10 times 2 plus 10 times 7x on the right. We say the 10 has been distributed. This is an example of the distributive property. The distributive property is normally expressed as a times the quantity b plus c equals a times b plus a times c. This is often referred to as multiplication across addition, again because we have a times b plus a times c. Next we have 10 times the quantity 4y plus 2 equals the quantity 4y plus 2 times 10. Notice on both sides of the equation we have a product, but on the left side we have 10 times the quantity 4y plus 2. On the right we have the quantity 4y plus 2 times 10. The order of the multiplication has changed, which is the commutative property of multiplication. More formally, this is normally expressed as a times b equals b times a. Next we have the quantity 9a plus 2 times 10 equals 9a times 10 plus 2 times 10. Notice from the right side to the left side, both terms inside the parentheses are being multiplied by 10. Again, we have 9a times 10 plus 2 times 10, which is also the distributive property. Here we are distributing from the right. In this example here, we distributed from the left. So this is also an example of the distributive property. If we go back to our notes again, this is normally how the distributive property is given, but distributing from the right, this can also be expressed as the quantity b plus c times a equals b times a plus c times a. And now for the last example, we have five times the quantity 10 plus 9x equals five times the quantity 9x plus 10. Notice on both sides of the equation we still have a product, but if we focus on the sum inside the parentheses, notice on the left side we have 10 plus 9x. On the right in parentheses we have 9x plus 10. Notice the order of the sum has changed, which is the commutative property of addition. More formally, this is normally expressed as a plus b equals b plus a. I hope you found this helpful.